Assalamu alaikum. KCSE 2020. Swali la sema. The cash price of a cooker is 27,500. Kwa hivyo hapo tuweza tukasemaje. Cash price ni 27,500. A customer opts to buy the cooker on higher purchase terms by paying a deposit deposit yake ilikuwa ni ngapi a deposit of 17250 tukipiga mstari hapo to minus ndo tutabaki na nini balance kumbuka deposit kwa sababu imelipwa on time mapema haitachajiwa interest lakini ile balance iliyocholewa kulipwa hii ndo atahesabiwa kama ambaye amekodishiwa kwa hivyo analipa pole pole. Hii minus hii utapata ngapi? Calculate utapata 10,250 shillings. Hii ndo balance. Determine the monthly rate of compound interest charged on the balance if the customer is required to repay by six equal monthly installments of 2,100 shillings each. Kwa hivyo payment itakuwa ni vipi 2100 for 6 months unakubaliwa kutumia calculator 2100 times 6 tutapata 12600 kwa hivyo payment itakuwa 12600 hii ndo amount atakayolipa na hii ndo amount kama ambaye alikopeshwa manake alisamehewa 10250 badili ya kulipa mapema akalipa kuchelewa lakini alipolipa kuchelewa akafikisha 12650 so ukiambua okay, determine the monthly rate of compound interest lazima ukumbuke formula ya compound interest a is equals to p into brackets ambayo hii ni amount is equals to the principal times 1 plus r ambayo ndo the rate over 100 alafu to the power n where n is the number of times the interest was compounded to substitute he payment atakayolipa mwisho ndo amount na he 10250 ndo nini ndio principal aliyokopesha kwa hivyo to substitute tu hapo 12000 600 is equals to 10250 times 1 plus r hatuijui rate ni ngapi kwa hivyo tuweka 1 plus r over 100 kisha to the power ngapi <coughs> amelipa for 6 months kwa hivyo ni to the power 6 kumbuka hii rate tunayotafuta hapa ni the monthly rate kwa hivyo na hii rate na hii time lazima zikorespond kama hapa rate ni per annum na hii time pia lazima iwe per annum utasolve vipi hii kuna this times the bracket hebu tuiondoe hii kwanza kwa sababu tunaona power 6 iko kwa bracket peke yake haiko kwa 10250 hebu tuitoe hapo ije upande wa pili 12600 divide by 10250 1.2293 kwa hivyo 1.2293 is equals to 1 plus r over 100 alafu bado kuna to the power ngapi 6 power 6 yatolewa vipi naweza fanya 6th root na 6th root ama power 6 rais zaidi ni vipi huku nifanye power 1 over 6 na huku pia nifanye to the power 1 over 6 kwa hivyo hii answer niloipata nasema answer to the power kisha naweka bracket kwa sababu 1 over 6 ni fraction lazima uiweke power yake ndani ya bracket answer to the power 1 over 6 funga bracket utapata 1.035 kwa hivyo 1.035 is equals to 1 plus r over 
Hii power 6 ilitoka vipi? Power 1 over 6 huku, power 1 over 6 huku. Hivyo ndiyo huwa zinatolewa. 1.035 is equals to 1 plus R over 100. Nitaondoa vipi over 100? Ama kwanza hii 1 wacha nirushe kule. 1.035 minus 1. Itakuwa ni 0 0.035 is equals to R over 100. Times 100 huku, times 100 huku, utapata 3.5 percent ndio monthly rate na ushamaliza rate is 3.5 percent how can you confirm your answer wacha tufanya hapa confirmation of course kwenye mtihani utaifanya tu na calculator formula yasema a is equals to p into bracket 1 plus r over 100 to the power n na sisi tuajua kwamba Hapa tuwafaa tupate 12,600. Na huku ni ngapi? 10,250 into brackets 1 plus R ni 3.5 over 100 lafu power 6. Tia tuwa calculator yu jikonfamie. 10,250 into brackets 1 plus 3.5 over 100 funga brackets power 6. Jibu ni ile ile 12,000. 599.9 yaani ni 12600 kwa hivyo answer yetu imekuwa confirmed 12600 is equals to 12599.9 uki round off jibu letu ni lile lile rate itakuwa ni 3.5% per annum siri ya kufanya maswali kama haya ni ukumbuke tu kwamba deposit hailipiwi interest Balance uliokopeshwa ndo italipiwa interest. I hope imeeleweka. Tafuta similar questions kwa med familia. Umeona this last year ilikuja vipi? Combination ya higher purchase na compound interest imekuja section 1. Maybe this year itakuja section 2, 10 marks. Fanya bidi uzizoe practice kwa wingi. Kama unaswali, feel free kuuliza kwenye channel yetu ya Safina High School. Ah, Santum.